Yo, what is up, everybody? It's been a while. It's been a while, hasn't it? It's been like nine, what, like nine, nine, ten months since my last upload. Yeah, I was on a little bit of a hiatus, you know. But I'll tell you what. Every every day I was on hiatus, I just got messages from all my fans out there watching. They're just like, "Oh, Astro, I miss your videos so much. Oh my God, I loved all of your videos. Oh, please come back to Aramek. Oh, I miss you so much. Especially that RUI guy. Uh, he was in my DMs like." every single day and he's like oh astro you're so much more handsome than i am and you're such a better caster than me i need you to come back to airmic and do some more casts you know and he, he did that every single day every single day uh, while i was on break and you know eventually i just had to give in i had to and uh that's why i'm here so if you enjoy this video or you like this video you have are you i to think for just totally fangirling out and uh, making me come back to airmic and do some casts so, <laughs> all true by the way, 100% true, not made up. Uh, so this is a ranked 1v1, or a custom 1v1, I'm not sure. It's a 1v1 between Happy Dip and Romania, who are, according to RUI's rankings, 1 and 2, I think, right now. So Happy Dip in the Star Neo, classic, classic night skin, and uh, Romania in the Black Ops Saucer, abducting all of these neutral units over at mid right now and very very standard play and a high tier play to just open normally you know no harass coming out and whoa, whoa, whoa what is this looks like some assassins coming out from happy dead and the assassins are going to capture the post i think and they turn invisible when they go inside the post so a little bit of a quirky mechanic so you can, you'll know your opponent has assassins on the field they just fly by and you see it you know invisible codes inside of a post and happy dead immediately going Oh, excuse me, going for a cheese, and looks like he probably will get the neutralized over here on this outpost. Romania not really paying attention to the new map. Does see the assassins, is trying to <laughs> kill the assassins right now. Did not notice that he got cheesed over here. Really, really slow to respond to that. Looks like happy that he's just gonna take this post. Probably has like an infantry Q. No, he has Bucky Q. <laughs> he's gonna kill Romania. Oh, uh, that was crazy. Oh my god. Coming out from the dead to kill Romania there. And Romania is flying by, not seeing Happy Dead that captured this post, but he did have a bunch of dills in queue, and these dills are just going to take this post again. But let's say Happy Dead probably. Ah, will he get the neutralized? Will he get the neutralized? Yes, he will get the neutralized. He will go and help himself, but Neo jump very, very good. Saucer jump also very, very good. There is a box on the field. Happy Dead going to snipe it in his slow moving Neo. And Romania bringing all the dills back over here. But Happy Dead. Okay, he has 34 upkeep, right? But all of that upkeep is just in these in these assassins and a few dillos here and there and some buckies over here being placed to go attack middle. And meanwhile, Bromi still has not recaptured his close outpost. And Happy that's already getting started on mid. And he has a bunch of a uh, a bunch of assassins over here uh, getting ready to. Be do assassin things, you know? And Romania probably does notice that uh, Happy Death is going for mid. He's just gonna move a bunch of duos up there. Oh, Happy Death, great with the Neo Blade right there. Perfectly timed to kill all three, three different infantry right there before they go into the outpost. But Romania is moving all of his army up over here to go and take mid. But he's moving stuff back down middle, being scared by just a few buckies. There's only three buckies here, and Happy Death himself over here. But he just needs to recapture the outpost. I think once he recaptures the outpost, he'll be okay. Just needs to spam some infantry. I don't know if he has infantry. Usually people take like sergeants or stamps or something, just so they don't have to rely on the moves. And Happy Death landing with the stasis and the blade, killing most of the infantry that Romania dropped. Romania looks like he did manage to snipe like one bucky. Oh my god, the assassin over here! Oh, he sees them. Oh, Bromania shot at them. And oh, no, they're all dead. Wait, some are inside the outpost, though. Wait, outpost does go neutral, but all these dillos are here. But all of Bromania's dillos are also very, very low on health. There's no flat range here, so how do they can just land and do blade and stasis and blade guardians? And he'll be okay. And yeah, I'm fucking killing one dillo, two dillos, three dillos. Oh my god, that's so annoying. But Bromania killing everything over here with some butcher drops, so. Pretty much even, actually, exactly even. It was 16 to 16. But all the neutrals killed over here on Happy Dead side. And uh, Bromania going down to that neutral T99. And some assassins even here at his fort that he has to deal with, so Happy Dead probably gonna be able to take middle just off of that. 
crazy. He killed everything here with like three Buckies and some assassins. That was insane. I think Bromian, yeah, needs to spam some Gaddies over here. Happy Dead getting the second box. So 12k more credits just from the box for Happy Dead. And yeah, Happy Dead seeing this Dillo all alone is just going to snipe it for free. While Bromania trying to do some crafts of his own, needs to neutralize the outpost, I think. Is he going to snipe the Dillo? I don't think he's... Yeah, he's not actually not going to. Getting stasis into all of the neutral seekers and T99s in this area. And he's just going to go down to the neutrals yet again. So Happy Dead probably has a free opportunity to take mid here. I don't know if he's... Okay, I was gonna say go back, grab some creeps, and just take mid, but I think he's gonna wait a little bit longer. I don't know, maybe he's scared of like some push that Bromania has, but Bromania not really getting this here. Is he gonna abduct the duo? Happy Dead does see this, is gonna come back, does abduct the duo. Bromania does get away as well. Wow, great play. I thought he would die there for sure, but he managed to get away somehow. And Bromania coming back from mid here. With two Dillos and a Gaddy, but Happy Dead just constantly on that harass, managing to snipe those creeps over there. He got the radar ability, great ability. I guess so, he couldn't get tracked by Romania when he's going back. And Happy Dead trying to kill the neutrals over here. Looks like he did manage to capture the Alpha's. A little curious why Happy Dead didn't drop, like, you know, jump over when Romania had, like, nothing here. Literally nothing. I guess he's waiting for him to bring over units so he can kill it. But spamming the assassin still. Oh, missing the blade there. He tried to go in with the, the Neo Blade and out of stealth and snipe that Dilla, but he did just get stasis, so I think that kind of screwed him up a little bit. I'm happy to low on health. Ooh, just gonna Q heal. I think he's gonna be okay. Yeah, he's just gonna invis out. And going back to the fort, actually, to go out. And Bromania grabbing the six minute box, so two boxes for Happy Dead, one box for Bromania. And Happy Dead going back to his outpost. It's gonna be okay. Bromania trying to snipe his Bucky here. Does manage to catch an assassin. I think he knows there are some more assassins probably somewhere in this area. And a turtle even coming out here, I guess, for any artillery that Happy Dead intended on putting in three Gaddies. That means he can't really leapfrog over with Dillos because Gaddies shred Dillos. If you did not know, Gaddies do a lot of damage to Dillos. Happy Dead just poking, constantly killing even more assassins. I don't know what his plan is with these assassins, but it's probably going to be cool. And Happy Dead did do the radar disrupt, but did get caught out by Romania, so Romania not falling for any any sneaky tricks right now. Happy to landing with the blade. Is he gonna get this Dillo in time? Yes, he will. Snipe one Dillo. Great job. IT players really know how to isolate those units, kill as many as they can when that mechs are not there. Yeah. So great job on him to find those free picks. 51 upkeep for Happy Dead, but come on. You know, all that upkeep just in in uh, in assassins. And Bromania does see all of these assassins. I think Happy Dead needs to build them further back. Like here. I think if he builds them here, like there's no shot Bromania comes over and, and like uh, scouts them all. Yeah, Happy Dead puts them on follow them in. Bromania just drops his own virtues. He's just gonna be able to cut stasis. He's gonna be okay. He has a lot of energy. There was one player in a tournament. I think it was the last two v two tournament. It wasn't the it wasn't the one v one tournament, but it was in like the finals of the two v two tournament. And it was Happy Death and Pro Four versus Rex and Polar Bears. And they Happy Death and Pro Four got stomped by the way in that game. It's like Happy Death's like worst memory, but uh, they they lost like three one. But the one game they they won was because of assassins and it was on duel and happy to just mass a bunch of assassins at his fortress then just set them on Y. and in the mid fight when the assassins were right in the middle of all of the enemy units he set them on c and then uh the assassins just killed everything in the mid fight while they moved up the tanks and the tanks finished off all the and they grabbed mid they just played off the momentum and they won so assassins underrated unit there's a lot of utility for it but uh the way happy that's using them right now I don't know, probably not the best. Somehow he grabbed this post. It's kind of crazy that he grabbed this post. And some assassins even at the fourth corner doing doing damage. But I think Romania needs to bring back some other units. As long as Happy Dead's in the area, we're just with Neo. 
for me, I can't really do much about it. But yeah, Gaddy Gaddy is what it's Gaddy and some pictures. You can be fine out of it because Bimmy's a bull. I don't know. Abby is just so good, so confident to just play with like random ass units. You know what I mean? He's got Vulcans, he's got assassins, and he's like, you know what? Roaming at no slouch. Roaming is crazy good at 1v1. It's ridiculous. He's the number two on the ranked, the power rankings, right? But Happy <laughs> he just doesn't give a crap, bro. He doesn't walk into 1v1 with assassins and Vulcans and be like, you know what? I'm gonna play just to get everybody else. This is just like a game. But yeah, obviously Neo, I think, doing a lot for Happy Death in this game. I think if it wasn't Neo, probably would have <laughs> lost. I would say lost, but lost at least a lot of map control by now. And he's <laughs> getting some pockets over here. <laughs> just trying all kinds of stuff in this 1v1. And Roaming is managing to abduct that. that uh, what are these called? Stingers? I think Stingers. Managing to abduct and even saving the Stinger, actually. Just in time. But yeah, Happy Death pushing these Vulcans? No, he still has them. And Roaming has not spotted them. And three Dillos on the four corners. I've just been doing this a lot lately, actually. Just uh, going for four drops. And you know, I've, I've even won a couple of two twos with Happy Death and Coffin. Just like four drops when you're like, losing the game. So, good, good plays from it. Getting a lot of four health done there. Like, that's, that's a good 20%. Still going, actually. So, yeah, Bro Minion doing a good job blocking there. No more fourth thing taken. And all of these Vulcans now placed on follow command. Where is he gonna go? This outpost? This outpost? I think this outpost. I think he sent them to this one. Yeah. And the Vulcans are just walking towards this outpost. And he looks like he's gonna try. Oh, he's trying to neutralize and distract here while the Vulcans are going to this outpost. And. Oh, there's two flackers here. Okay, so Vulcans' air units, they can only be shot by stuff that can attack air units, right? So, only the flackers can shoot down the Vulcans, and the Vulcans actually neutralizing his opposite, killing a bunch of stuff too, actually. And Happy Death needs to place them on, oh, he's sending them on high, just with the drive-by. And, oh, Bromania sees him now, for sure sees him now, and oh, Vulcans doing a lot of, actually, not that much damage, they don't do a lot of mech damage, but, yeah, he's placing the deals here, but the can't shoot at the Vulcans. Only Bromania can shoot at the Vulcans. Vulcans doing a lot of damage to the player, especially the corner here. And wow, this is actually insane. This is so much damage. And Romanian doesn't have anything to kill him. Actually, only Flackers. He's gonna get the finish. That's it. This is it. The game's over. Killing the Flackers with his mech. And yeah, wow. That's it. That's GG. Vulcans <laughs> and the Assassins. Oh, Vulcans and Assassins are winning the game for Happy Death. What a weird game. Absolutely crazy. Happy Death will walk into a real Vulcan with Assassins. Somehow managed to win the game. That's insane. But yeah, what a crazy one we won. Great game. Great game to cast first coming back. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have more replays like this or even just like normal games, <laughs> uh, any games that you find interesting, please feel free to send them in to RUI's replay submission form. I'll try and cast them. I am also streaming tomorrow probably sometime. So if you see this when it's uploaded, uh, catch a stream tomorrow and we'll play some games and maybe I'll upload some videos from those games. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.